All right, and welcome to Graphing Linear Functions, Level 4. Now, for example 1, we want to find the solution to the system below. We're given y equals 3x minus 2, which we see is in slope-intercept form. And we also see that we have 6x minus 2y equals 4, which is, of course, in our standard form from the Level 3 video. Now, for this first one, let's just go ahead and graph our equation that's in slope-intercept form. That's pretty easy. We see that our y-intercept is negative 2, so we go down 2, put our very first point, and our slope is 3 over 1, which of course we know will send us up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. We can even go one more time, 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. Now let's just go ahead and draw that line. Now, looking below, we have 6x minus 2y equals 4. So, what do we have to do there? Think back to our level 3 video. We want to get the letter y by itself. Well, the first thing that we'll do, of course, is we will subtract 6x from both sides. And at this point, we'll circle our zero pair. And we have negative 2y is equal to 4 minus 6x. Now remember, in order to get the y by itself, we have to get rid of the multiplication, and we can divide every single term by negative 2. At this point, we now have y equals 4 divided by negative 2 will, of course, be negative 2. And then negative 6x divided by negative 2 will be positive 3x. And let's go ahead and graph that. So we see that our y-intercept is a negative 2. We'll go down 2 units. Wait a second. Let me use a different color here. We'll go down 2 units. And then our slope is really 3 over 1, which means we have to go up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. And wait a second. When we go up 3 and to the right 1 again, we realize that this graph, this line, is actually the exact same line as our first line. Whenever you have two lines that are the exact same, or what we can say is when they are on top of each other, on top of each other, we actually call this infinite solutions infinite solutions. Why? Because these lines wind up touching each other at every single point for infinity. All right, let's go ahead and look at our second case. Okay, for example two, we have another system, y equals one-third x plus five in slope-intercept form, three x plus y equals negative two in standard form. Now let me go ahead and use different colors for these. So I'll just go ahead and graph this top line in green. We see our y-intercept is a positive 5, so I can go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and of course put my first point. We also notice that our slope is 1 over 3, so we can go up 1 to the right 1, 2, 3. And since we kind of ran out of room here, let's do the complete opposite. Instead of going up 1 and to the right 3, we can go down 1 and to the left 3. Okay, and of course our line will look something like that. Switching colors, we now have this line, 3x plus y equals negative 2, but of course we need to get the letter y by itself. So how do you get rid of a positive 3x? And we all know we will subtract 3x from both sides. At this point, we've created a zero pair, and we can say y equals negative 3x minus 2. Now, when negative 2 is our y-intercept, we'll go down 2 on the y-axis. And for negative 3, we'll write that as negative 3 over 1. And, of course, we can now go down 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 1. And since I can't kind of run out of room there, let's do the complete opposite. Instead of going down 3 and to the right, 1, I can go up 1, 2, 3, and to the left, 1. And notice that... My two lines actually wind up intersecting at this point right here. I want you to label that, and I want you to write one solution. So I'm not really concerned about knowing what the specific solution is, but let's just go ahead and understand that this graph where we have two lines that intersect each other at one point, we're going to call that one solution. All right, pause the video, finish taking any notes. Let's move on to our third example. Okay, for example three, our third and final example, let's go ahead and start with y equals three-fourths x minus two. 
We see our y-intercept is at negative 2, and we'll go down 2 and put our very first point. Our slope is positive 3 over 4, so we know we'll go up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, and our point will be somewhere there. Now for time's sake, I'm just going to grab two points, and our function will look like that. Now switching over to kind of this kind of burnt red, we want to get the y here, and let's see what we can do. To get rid of the negative 3x, we will add 3x to both sides, and we create a zero pair. Now, here we have 4y is equal to 0 plus 3x. Well, of course, that's just 3x, and we can divide both sides by 4, like we've been doing. Now we have y is equal to 3 over 4x. Now, how in the world do you graph something like that where there's no constant? Well, just understand that when you don't see a constant, it's like the equation is saying plus zero. So we're saying that our y-intercept is actually at the origin. Now here, our slope is 3 fourths, which is going to, of course, send us up 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And when I go ahead and graph that, you'll notice something kind of interesting. These lines will never actually touch. And so what do we call it whenever the lines never touch? Well, we would call this no solution. And you've actually seen this before because these are actually parallel lines. And why, why are they parallel? Well, you'll notice because their slopes are the exact same. So that's actually kind of the definition of parallel lines is they are the same slope and they never intersect. All right, these are our three types of solutions. When two lines are on top of each other, they have infinite solutions. When two lines cross at one point, they have one solution. And when two lines never cross, they have no solution. All right, thank you all so much. And I'll see you all in our next video series.